According to him, the union is hoping to submit a document by the second week in December in an effort to avoid the discrepancies encountered during the last bargaining process with the ministry. Although he was reluctant to reveal the percentage that the union is proposing in the new agreement, he said the union will find ways to justify its proposal. Things went haywire during the most recent bargaining process between the two parties, which left children in empty the classrooms as teachers resorted to the streets calling for increased salaries. In fact, it was only late October that the GTU and the Education Ministry came to an agreement with regards to the teacher's salary. As the agreement was linked in October 24, 2018, for the 12% increase for 2016 and 8% for 2018, Light said the union has learned its lessons and is looking forward to brokering a better agreement come 2019. Moreover, the GTU president pointed out that the union has learned so many lessons and is now better prepared for the next bargaining process with the education ministry. He explained that he believes the agreement made will better satisfy teachers and their families, thus resulting in classrooms being better serviced. On the other hand, General Secretary of the GTU, Coretta McDonnell, during a telephone interview with the Evening News, said she believes the union should have been more diligent. A 40% salary increase for public school teachers was initially proposed for the year 2016. Over time, the percentage would be increased for all categories of represented teachers. For the year 2017, the union was hoping to have bargained for a 45% increase, which would then increase to 50% for the remainder of the years indicated in the agreement 2018-2020. to 2020. For the evening news, Yenala Dalrymple.